Hello guys and welcome back to another Jonah Central tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the glittery Christmas ornament balls that you see on every Christmas tree ever. Let's get started. So start off by deleting that default cube and adding in a UV sphere and shade smooth. Then go to the shading workspace. Feel free to then create a new material and add in a Veroni texture. Also add in a white noise. Now plug the position of that Veroni texture into the white noise texture and plug the value of that white noise texture into the base color of the principal BSDF. As you can see this creates like a randomized cell noise texture going on right here. Now we're going to increase the scale of that Veroni texture to about 1000. There now it kind of looks like just grain but if you scroll in as you can see it's just very fine Veroni cells. Alright now add in a color ramp and you can use that color ramp for the roughness. This is how we get the reflectiveness part of essentially the glitter that we're making right now. So to start off um, I want the darker parts to be less reflective because we're sort of creating the illusion of glitter along with actual like how the light reflects off of it and usually the darker parts of glitter you don't see glittering and that's why it looks dark to the human eye. Basically I'm going to make this black color actually brighter about 0.6 and I'm going to make this white here about 0.4. Now we can actually even unplug this from base color for now. We don't necessarily need to see it but if you want to see what you're doing in better detail feel free to plug things in there. Awesome. Uh, add in another color ramp and plug the white noise texture into that color ramp. We're going to add a bump node. We're going to plug the color of this color ramp into the height of that bump node. And then we're going to plug the normal of the bump node into the normal of the principal BSDF. And as you can see, this kind of looks like a wall. Like a wall. If you look at a wall in your house, it looks like that. So we're just going to turn the strength down to something like 0.1. That is looking better. Alright. Now we're going to add in another color ramp but this time we're going to add in object info and we're going to plug random into that color ramp. Now for these sparkly bald Christmas ornaments that you usually see I usually personally notice them in mostly three colors uh, red, gold, and white. So I'm going to add those three colors right now. This black I'm going to change to white. I'm going to keep this white here or no sorry this black I'm going to change to red I'm going to keep this white as white. I'm going to click the plus here. I'm going to make it like a gold color. That should be good. All right, now I'm going to switch this from linear to constant. And I'm going to change the positions so they're all evenly spaced out, meaning this gold is now going to be 0.333, and this white here is going to be 0.666. Now they're all evenly spaced out. We can plug that into the base color. Awesome. Now we're going to add in another color ramp. Go figure. And we're going to grab the white noise value and plug it into that color ramp. Now we're going to add in a mix RGB node. And we're going to switch that mix to darken and put it right in front of this color ramp. And we're going to plug this top color ramp right here. We're going to plug that into the bottom of this darken node. Now what we're going to use, uh, this color ramp of course you can adjust it to however you want, but I'm just going to leave it as default. That's the reason I'm adding in all these color ramps, is just to adjust things, fine tune them. Uh, but if we put this dark darken node to one, as you can see, some spots are red, some spots are black, but I, uh, I feel like this is a bit harsh, so I always keep it around 0.5. Now we're almost done, but you might be thinking, this just doesn't look right. And that is correct, and here is the icing on top of the cake that we just made. If you turn this metallic node all the way up, we've got this beautiful, beautiful looking Christmas ornament. And this, I think, looks really, really good and how we kind of want it to look, like those sparkly ball Christmas ornaments. And the best part is, if I duplicate it enough times, you're going to see that the colors are actually randomized and they're equally randomized. We're getting more red than others, but it, it's completely random, and because I space these out properly, you're, they're essentially the exact same probability of being what color. So if you, if you use this as a particle system on a Christmas tree model that you make, uh, these are gonna disperse evenly 
they're going to be perfectly random colored and everything's going to go great. So that's all this tutorial has to offer. Thank you so much guys for watching. I really hope this was helpful um, and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.